Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and you are watching TubeMint. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add JSON LD rich snippet schema markup to your Shopify store. So let's get started. So suppose this is your Shopify store. Go to your admin area to make any changes to your Shopify store. Go ahead and log in. So that's the first thing. The second thing before you get started, go ahead and customize the JSON LD schema markup. So let's suppose you are a local business. It could be anything, right? You simply have to search the schema type of schema that schema markup that you want to add to your Shopify store. So simply search here. You can have a look at the type of available most commonly used uh, schema and that are here. So it could be local business, restaurant, any event. Okay creative work a lot of people doing creative work these days and they are trying to sell it on Shopify so in this case in this video I'm going to use organization uh, it could be any type of organization you simply need to customize the JSON LD for your organization specific organization so we will go with the JSON LD format go ahead and copy it this is recommended format by Google. Otherwise, there are many formats that you can use. Okay, so go ahead and copy this JSON LD format, which is recommended again by Google, and go to your Shopify store. One thing before you get started, this needs to be customized. Okay, so this has to be your address organization address postal code street address email fax number type alumni name and telephone number okay now to add the schema markup you go to your shopify admin area and then click customize theme make sure you are under home section and then click customize theme now we need to go to edit code section okay so either you click on here actions drop down menu and go to edit code which I'm going to open in, in a new tab so this looks like this or you can simply click customize and then go to theme actions click on these dots and then click edit code you will be landing on the same page either uh, whether you use the actions from here or go to this theme actions all right so let's go ahead and add uh, JSON LE schema markup to your Shopify store so if it's a kind of generic schema markup that you want to add to your store you can add it to layout or header section so if you go to layout you need to go to this theme.liquid and once you are in here you can simply go ahead and paste your schema markup under this head part so go ahead and just paste in here so you can already see I have added this JSON LD markup that can be replaced with the new one okay so I'm just going to copy so I paste the latest customized one for my organization it could be for your organization and save it Okay, so that's the first way to add a JSON LD schema markup to your Shopify store through layouts using theme dot liquid. The second one is you can go to sections and look for header dot liquid. 
and you can see that they already have added the Shopify team has already added these uh, JSONLD schema markup which is basically for organization on social media platforms okay uh, they also have another section here which is for website so either you can place in the theme dot liquid or JS uh, sorry header dot liquid the only thing if you have multiple JSON LD schema that you want to add to your Shopify store make sure you are putting them in their distinct script tag okay you cannot combine two schema markup in one script tag so let's say I have to add another I will go ahead and paste in here and that is going to be within this uh, sorry script tag and then I'll quickly go ahead and save it this will be a duplicate if I save it here so that's why I'm not going to do it once it's saved we must verify whether Google is going to recognize it so what we need to do we need to look up for Google schema checker so they have structured data testing tool which is freely available go ahead and copy that uh, Shopify store and paste the URL in here run the test so you can see we have two organizations so one was already added and then I added one so this is why we got two so if I go ahead and click here you'll see it will tell you where it's added so that was added in the head part sorry header dot liquid section which is by Shopify team and then if I go ahead and click the this part which was added by myself so this is going to be on the very top which was added in theme dot liquid the other one which is a website was added by Shopify theme which is in the header dot liquid the other part people like to do the other most important schema that every Shopify store should have is the product one okay so the product is basically under sections and you will have to look up for product dot liquid so let's see product template product let's see I think I already have one collections let's check under product template so I simply need to look up for JSON LD we already have something here JSON no LD I don't I don't think so so I think I'm not I'm not on the right uh, file here so we have article template these are templates they should have product or liquid somewhere so let's see snippets under snippets we have snippets here and comments these are small snippets Mm, layouts we don't have anything templates okay here we have under templates we have product dot liquid so you can see they already have JSON LD which is for product type so you don't need to have a like add product uh, schema markup on your Shopify store this is dynamic schema for each product that you're going to add to your Shopify store okay so don't need to customize it however I'm not sure if it's available for articles let's see 
articles.liquid now they should be already oh they already have it you see so you do not need to add any article schema markup or any product schema markup okay so that's the, these are already added and also these product and article schema markups are dynamic for each article and product that you're going to publish on your site so that's it for this video guys if you have any questions suggestions leave in the comment below i will try to answer it asap thank you for watching bye for now